Whenever you need to make uh, the same changes to a series of pictures in Photoshop, then actions and droplets become very, very powerful tools. So in this video, we're going to go over what actions and droplets are, and we're going to go ahead and create them in Photoshop and see how, they, uh, how they're actually uh, used. So to begin, uh, actions are pre-recorded scripts that uh, execute a series of commands in Photoshop. So the best way to understand this is by giving um, an example. So if you have a folder of images and you want to convert all of them to black and white, then you simply create an action, and then you can play back that action, and all the uh, images are automatically converted to black and white. A droplet, on the other hand, extends the functionality of actions. A droplet is essentially an executable file that you create from an action, and you can place it on your desktop or anywhere else on your hard drive. And then when you want to uh, batch process your images, you simply take your folder of images or your image, and you drag and drop them onto the executable and Photoshop will do the rest. And the really cool thing about droplets is that you don't even need Photoshop to be open. You can just simply have Photoshop closed, drag your images, and Photoshop, um, the droplet will go ahead and do everything for you automatically. So I have an image here in uh, Photoshop. I'm going to start by clicking Control J, duplicate the layer. Next, we're going to go into our Actions palette. And if it's not open, you can simply go to Window and Actions, or press the uh, Alt F9 shortcut key. Next, when I click on the Create a New Action icon, and we'll name this Batch Icon, I click OK, or Record rather. OK, so now the action is recording. I'm going to switch to our Layers uh, palette. And in this case, I'm going to uh, decrease the image size. So I'm going to go into Image, image Size, and I'm going to type in 800 for the width, click OK and Photoshop has finished reducing the image. So this is essentially the only uh, action that we want to take. And next, I'm going to click File, Save for Web and Devices, and we'll save this onto our desktop. Perfect, and then we'll go ahead and close. No, and last step, we'll go back to our Actions palette and we'll click on Stop Recording. And if you have a look here, the actual steps of the action that we were just recorded. So we started off um, with a, a brand new action. First thing was we did image size. You can see the steps that, that Photoshop took. Then we exported it and we finally saved and closed it. In order to uh, play the actual action, we're going to start uh, with a folder of images. And I have a folder of images here called images, strangely enough. I'm going to go into Photoshop, File, Automate, and Batch. And here we have a series of uh, parameters that we can modify. And under action, I'm going to make sure that the newly created action is listed, batch icon. Next, I'm going to choose the source folder. And I'm going to go into our desktop and choose images. And we're going to choose the uh, save destination file folder. In this case, it'll be on the desktop and uh, we'll click OK. Oops. There we go. Perfect. And now Photoshop is going to go ahead and play the action and apply it to each individual image in the folder that we specified. And the last one. Perfect. If I go back to my desktop, I can see the four images that were created from the action. And their dimensions are 800 by 642, perfect. So let's say you um, have Photoshop closed and you wanted to go ahead and repeat this process and batch process a series of images. And well, instead of going into Photoshop and going through that dialog box, automate, etc., you can simply just uh, use your droplet. So to create a do droplet, sorry, we're going to click on File. Automate and create droplet. And we're going to choose where we're going to save it as, or where we're going to save it to, rather. We're going to click on desktop. Next, we're going to make sure that it, uh, the batch icon that action that we created earlier is selected. Okay, and we'll click OK. 
Perfect. If we minimize, you'll see the droplet that was created, which is right here. And once again, if we wanted to create or run the action, rather, I'll just click and drag the images onto the droplet. And here we go. Photoshop is running the commands onto the four images. And that's how you use actions and droplets in Photoshop CS5. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.